Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network! Today, well, we gotta find a place to hide around here, so that way we can go about unseen. So, let's, well, I'll just tell you. The way, or the place we're supposed to go, is in Dad's office. Because, as we all know, Land's dad never actually shows up. Whether he's at work, or at home, or wherever he is. I'm beginning to wonder if he's even real. Maybe he's just a computer program like everyone else. I don't know. But anyway, shouldn't the lady by the desk be able to see you there? Not really doing much hiding, so... Well, don't we need, I don't know, police officers or security or locked doors? Or anything that would be remotely useful to have prevented this catastrophe in the first place. <sighs> no, of course not. They expect technology to do all the work for them. Okay, well, anyway, yeah, but now we gotta get back down to the waterworks there, and... Apparently there's no, like, security cameras or anything around here. And all the doors, well, the elevator doors are, are locked, but, like, all the other doors, like, to get in and out of the place are unlocked. I mean, aren't they just inviting people to hack into their systems and stuff? I'm... Well, anyway, I'll just tell you where you're supposed to go. We gotta go in here. We couldn't do that before because there was that scientist there. Uh-oh. Did we get caught? That's... Oh, hey. Are you another one of them net battlers? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, okay. Alright, sounds like a plan. I'll trust the net battlers to get the job done. No, of course not. Because as we all know, in all JRPGs, when someone tells you not to do something, you must then therefore go do it. Absolutely. Well, let's take a look around here. Oh. Hmm, that's weird. Yeah, I thought there was the guy, what was his name, Freud? or I think people were saying in French his name is pronounced Foi or something, but I'm only willing to alter my pronunciation so far, viewers. I'm pronouncing it Freud because it's spelled that way. So that's what I'm going to go with. Even though my name has a French spelling, but... I don't expect people to pronounce it Henri. Although one time I got a recorded message from an automated system that pronounced it that way. Seems oddly specific, but anyway. Okay, so let's see. We got Sana Wave there. Let's start getting rid of those sword chips. Probably get rid of the wide sword, but the long swords and the elect sword is still good. The other ones though, they just kind of sit in my pile whenever I draw them. Oh yeah, in case you can't tell, yeah, we got ice physics here. And once you start sliding on them, you can't change your direction. But you can fight these guys. Okay, we got a couple piranhas here. These are the tier one fish, uh, piranha type enemies that we met up with earlier, the tier two ones. Well, let's see what we can do. Hmm. See, I think I'm gonna go with the Dino Wave and Buster the other one down the old-fashioned way. Do that, good. Okay. Just kinda go back and forth, get out of the way whenever they uh, do stuff like that. And actually, yeah, let's just uh, hit them with my cannon and that should get the job done. Oh, for a second there I thought he teleported out of the way. Oh, and we get a pretty decent chip, try arrow it deals three hits of 40 damage. It's really good against random enemies. Not so much against bosses, because they'll usually flinch, and then the extra two hits won't do anything. So, get rid of the wide sword there. And I think next I'm going to keep getting rid of some shockwave chips, too. So, let's go around here. Oh, by the way, there was a path that I passed up by the mystery data. Yeah, that leads to a dead end. So, don't worry about it. But anyway, what we got to do here is, for some reason, we can't walk through the water there. I don't know why, but anyway, yeah, you got to turn it off with the handle there. 
Kind of reminds me of Soul Blazer a little bit. Okay, got another one of those tri arrow chips. As with the Quake chips and Sword chips and other special kind of damage chips, uh, I would not put too many in your folder. Maybe three or four. I mean, they are useful in the right situation, but you want to be careful with that. And let's see, I'll probably eventually get rid of Roll too, but not right now. I got other Navi chips. Or, well, I don't have enough Navi chips to worry about that. Okay, after that battle, got another Aqua Tower chip. How many Tower chips do I have? I have the one, two, three. Hmm. I'll go with one more, but that's it. I don't want to go any more than that. Those things are really slow, but they are they deal a ton of damage. So, in the right situation, they can be pretty useful. Okay, let's keep on going, then. See this part go up, down, upper right. Oh, yeah, you can go diagonally across the ice here, too. You gotta hit it at the right angle, though, so it is it can be a little tricky. Hey, how's it going? Who's this guy? Oh, uh, yeah, it must be. Whoa! Oh, I thought, you, well, no one else was around. Oh, it's that guy. Oh, it was that, that kid from before. Right, the uh, net battler. Oh, well, there you are. So anyway, I, I've heard his name is pronounced Showed. Like, there's showed and foie, I think that's, like, cold and hot, or something rather like that. But, yeah, I think his name is pronounced showed, not Todd or Chad or whatever. Oh, yeah, I've kind of heard about that. Nice to meet you. What? We're not working with the bad guys. You can if they're bad guys. What are you doing here, anyway? I didn't see you around. Well, okay. Yeah, we'll just, uh, not worry about that. Let's keep on going, then. Solve more water puzzles. Oh, yeah. Oh, right, I didn't do that yet. I was gonna say, yeah, I kinda noticed that, but no, no, we haven't done that yet. Okay, yeah, we gotta turn on the water in order to melt the ice, but then we can't get past the water, so we gotta turn it off in order to get past the ice that we melted. Or, well, the ice is gone, but you know what I mean. So, let's check it out. Yeah, I can't go diagonally there. So, yeah, you always gotta circle around those things. So, what we need to do in order to move on... By the way, the ice above us, yeah, that... We can't do anything there. Well, we can, but... There's no point right now. So turn on the water, turn it off. Yeah, that tripped me up the first time I played the game. Turned it on, but then I couldn't get past the water. But, okay, now we can move on. Hey, how's it going? Oh, well, thanks for letting me know. Seems like a nice guy. But anyway, all right, we got 20 more HP, awesome. And let's see, we've got some water in our way here, but... Oh. Huh. I wonder what happened to that. Yeah, I wouldn't worry about it. Probably not important. Let's head on back to the ice that we just melted. Yeah, you see? The path's already clear for us. Okay, after that battle, got another tri-arrow chip. Let's see, where are ya? Okay. Yeah, one more. I don't think I want to go to four on those. So, just three. Yeah, that should be good enough. Okay, this part is a little tricky. Let's see, we got a mystery data there. We're going to have to take the long way to get around that. Whee! Go around here. I don't think you can get into random battles while you're on the ice. At least I never noticed it, but... Eh, wide sword, but... I've got better chips now. So, I'm not worried about them. But I am worried about a new enemy here. Okay, let's see. That's a, a Spooky, the Tier 2 version. And they got a chip I want. If I can get it now, great. If not, I'll pick it up later. But let's see what we can do here. Hmm. 
Stone Man might be good. In fact, I think that might be the way to go. Hmm, I want to see if I can use the Tri-Arrow chip, but... Yeah, I, I think they'd move out of the way too quickly. So, let's see, I can either go two High Cannons, or a Sino Wave. Hmm. Or I can go with Stone Man. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Stone Man and, uh, try my luck. See if I can't get enough, uh, damage here. Good. And go with Stone Man and hope it kills them both at once. They could do it right on the first shot. Awesome. Now the extra damage isn't gonna do anything, but it's there. What? How did that not even damage the guy? He was on the ground. Oh, he just sits there like that? I've never seen that before. Well, at least I got the chip I wanted, but... Huh. I never realized that if he does the cloud thing in the front column, you can just buster him down and he doesn't get out of the way. Wow, I... I've never seen that before. But yeah, I'm definitely saving after that one. <laughs> so I don't have to farm it later. This is the best area to meet up with those spooky guys here, too. It, I'm a, I only want it, the chip for my collection. Not actually going to use it. Go left, down. Awesome. Now we need to turn off the water so that way we can get around here. And then we can go back down to the lower level. But for now, we want to stay up here. Looks like there's another part to this area, but we can't get to that right now. So, I wouldn't worry about it. Okay, let's see. Drop down there. And let's see. What do we got? Ice Punch B. You could use that in the big straight uh, program advance, but I'm not gonna because I don't want to farm the chips for that. And let's see. Yeah, I can't go up there. We gotta go back. Okay, now that we got the other water spout out of the way, now we can go past this one. That'll take us to the last part we need to go to. Okay, this part can be a little tricky, so you know what? I'm going to save just in case I screw up again. But anyway, let's see. We can't get up there. Not from here, anyway. Let's see, we want to go all the way to the right. And then around to get that mystery data from the back. Okay, I think that's a new enemy up there. Uh, Puffy! That's the water elemental one of the guy who had the heater chip from earlier. So, let's see. Stone Man could work, but it is a little unreliable, and I do have other chips available. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Well, not many options, so I guess I could go with Stone Man. Hope it kills the Puffy. And if it doesn't kill the other guy, I got the sword, long sword. So, we'll go with that. See how that works. Nuts. Hey, hey alright. Got the one I cared about, at least. And easy enough, there. Yeah, don't mean that, but it's there. Let's see, we need to go left more. And what do we get for our prize? Hey, hey all right. The tier three cannon chip. And yeah, lots of damage. So let's see, let's get rid of shockwave for that. Save so I don't fall over again and go down this way. Let's see, we need to go down and then to the right. Okay, well the path from here is pretty straightforward. So just get all the way to the end. Oh, I like how they have snowflakes going on in the background. Nice touch there, game. But can we defeat the virus responsible for the water stoppage here? Find out next time on Let's Play Mega Man Battle Network. This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.